you think I'm running? So there's a lot that goes down in the studio like that last clip that I don't always put in big videos. I also have random crazy cool friends come over. Welcome, my friend. Oh, thank you. I also do a bunch of crazy wacky photo shoots. <laughs> So I have like eight 30 second clips that I put in this video that's like wackiness going around the studio. I thought people would enjoy. This video isn't sponsored by anyone, but you can pick up some awesome merch on my website or awesome prints, support the channel. You know, all the money I make goes basically into paying for the studio every month and keeping it afloat. So that's where all my money ever, all my life savings has ever gone. So I hope you enjoy a, another look at some other stuff that goes on in the studio. Hey, how are you? Hey, Bobby. Nice to finally meet. Yeah, I've heard so much about you. This is my friend Chris. Hey, how are you? I'm Bobby. Hey, how are you? What's up, guys? I'm here with my new friend Bobby. Hey, how are you? Recently met. He's at the studio. So we're just going to do a nice little 10, 15 minute sketch drawing session. Oh, I love trees, yeah. I mean, trees and, um, you know, the Empire State Building. Oh, nice. on TikTok or Instagram at all, you've definitely seen these viral videos. This is Sunday Nobody. He's an unbelievable artist. I got him on the podcast. We've been talking a lot the past six months. He's my good homie. The Sudoverse podcast is back. Episode 25 with Sunday Nobody. Unbelievable. He's one of the biggest artists, I think, on the internet right now. So definitely go give it a gander. It's always like, you know, I grinded for 10 years and... <laughs> Uh, and uh, you know, I never gave up and like look at me now. Yeah, I would not be have made all the projects that I have made had it not been for that first project for whatever reason um, Like blew up on on reddit and tiktok Favorite thing about SLU? Um, definitely. I mean, I don't really know you're a great friend. Oh, yeah this is how I made the ultimate portable drawing setup with the ability to film everything really clean and easy in a small package. real quick we just need to lay it out maybe this one yeah right? I think yeah and then I put this over my head yeah. <laughs> no but you can tap but then if you have an instant that yeah. for example costs one I see you I need see. one right, free right, right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know so is this for you you do look great, I think. Like, the light is really nice. But then we could get, like, some crazy... Yeah, this is pretty ideal space to do this in, because you got... Yeah, <laughs> I can see you, yeah. Oh my lord. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I think we should totally test it. Dude, you look like a 45 year old man. Different email. You should use your slew 42 yeah. email. So technically there's no audio in any of these, right? Or I mean maybe it's this not. one is gonna have some audio. Oh right, because I'm screaming at him. Yeah, I'm screaming at him. Round, round not the filler! filler. Another brush. Oh, this is really awkward. Don't you know the difference between a filler? <laughs> 
where you're like the filbert, not the fuck. It's like kind of a it's a throw one brush, <laughs> do the whole thing. After that, and then now. No! Don't you know the difference between a filbert and a round? Brush. No! Don't you know what a filbert is? Then the round. What kind of practice do you think we're running here? No! What do you think this is? A pop art studio? You think we're screen printing around here? Yeah. What kind of practice do you think I'm running? <laughs> That's so funny. I appreciate it. This is definitely wrong, Yesterday I was like, I could either build a set for like two hours of like an art studio. I was like, or actually let's just go to like the best one. <laughs> As you can see, a crazy setup behind me. I do a lot of photography, especially in the studio and all of these resources I have now. Seamless backdrop, big lights, um, controlled environment. Photography is a huge passion of mine. I've been doing it for a while now and I'm getting just more and more into it. It's something I do a lot. A lot of my time is spent to doing that. I just don't post it on social media or YouTube. How I make money also, but it's also a deep passion. And today was a really amazing, epic creative photo shoot. You know, photography has so many similarities to painting and my photography practice also combined with my you know, videography, cinematography practice, it informs my painting and painting informs and affects my um, photography work. You know, it's, it's very similar lighting theory, composition. We're doing some product shots, some promotion for Jade's new poetry book. So this is a pretty crazy setup we got going on. Bunch of lights, and I also got the really awesome flare, lens flare for all the lights. Um, so it's gonna look super cool. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking photo and video, right? What's a good photo, what's a good video? For promotional product shots, you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. That's my main agenda here. A little audible, I got this cool shot lined up um, with the disco ball, obviously. And because I'm shooting slow-mo, I think if I twist it really quick, um, it will capture it pretty nice. Nicely. I don't know, <laughs> it might be stupid, but it's kind of cool. That's who I am, and you're nothing. How do I feel about you, nice Sam? Guy. Takes brass balls to sell real estate. Big boy. Eat this, baby. Let's go! Get to work! What's your favorite thing about freeloading here every day? Fish sticks? Yeah, I love the creativity you bring to the studio. You help me with my work, and I love Sam. Time to melt my brain! All right, this is the second part of my mini elf series. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me catch you up real quick. Last project, I did a large portrait of an elf. I got an awesome model into the studio, Jade, to pose and it went amazing. I was only really planning on doing one painting from this studio shoot, but we got so many epic shots. I had to do a few. I had to do this heroic portrait, but also a larger composition, which we're gonna bang out today, which was my original plan. So during that last photo shoot, we got these full body poses that was my original intention in order to then later composite Jade the elf into a scene and environment. And I was totally inspired specifically by these two photos that I randomly found scrolling on Instagram. <laughs> but also I wanted to get, you know, that super high fantasy epicness that Michael Whalen endows with all of his work, one of my favorite artists. And unlike a lot of my other projects, I actually wanted a true background. And so while fiddling around on Photoshop, trying to compose this scene and environment, which I didn't know yet, I also slowly carved out this sort of brief and simple narrative of this queen elf and what, you know, the sort of story behind the image was gonna be. And trying to stick with more traditional lore, this elven queen was of the forest, so I wanted to incorporate a bit more nature into this composition and had the idea of Jade holding some sort of plant or flower. Oh, love. Like a crazy, yeah. like, I don't know, like metropolis. Do you find an elf name you like? I think I love the name Elise. Mm -hmm. The 
reshoot went terrific. We got all the stuff I wanted, you know, just replacing that arm. And all right, that's about it for this video. I don't want to give too much away. That was a sneak peek of my maybe next video, but one of the biggest projects I've worked on and I've just been procrastinating so hard. Um, bing! And that's, that's all I got. I'm um, really excited. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Check out the merch, support the channel. The cool projects, what we do, that's literally my only intention is to do awesome projects and make awesome things. So subscribe if you have not, and just stay tuned for some epicness here in 2023.